We've all seen glow-in-the-dark posters, ink, and dyes usually lighting up under black lights. But now doctors are using glowing dyes to help find cancers during surgery and let doctors decide what to remove and what to leave behind. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here to explain that. That's right. This could be a big help during cancer surgery because, you know, it's not always easy to tell the difference between cancer and normal tissue inside the body. And you want to remove all the cancer while not damaging the important normal tissue surrounding the tumor. That's where these glow-in-the-dark dyes help. He had a very large tumor. When Dr. Sunil Singhal saw images of the tumor near Ryan Sarkozy's heart, he knew he had to act quickly. It was almost four or five inches. So just to give you a sense, it's, it's the size of, of your two fists put together. Surgery has long been the first line of attack against cancer. If the disease comes back, though, it's usually because stray tumor cells were left behind. But during an operation, it's hard for doctors to tell what's cancer and what's not. Now they're testing dyes to make cancer cells glow. That helps surgeons see what to remove. Whatever is glowing needs to come out now. When a certain dye is given in big doses by IV a day before surgery, it collects in cancer cells and glows when exposed to near-infrared light. Now with the laser being on, you can really begin to see the difference. So this part is cancer and this is not. The technique really proves its value as Dr. Singhal finds something unexpected during Sikosi's surgery. The cancer's grown into the lung. So we're going to take a piece of the lung out too. Different dyes are being used to identify prostate, lung, and kidney cancers. The dyes can dramatically improve patient care by helping surgeons remove all of the cancer while sparing healthy tissue. Some cancers, it's very much more important than others to not take any more than you have to. Some experts think dyes may hold the most promise for breast cancer. Up to one-third of women having a lump removed end up having a second surgery after tests later show that some cancer was left behind. It's not only expensive, it's debilitating, it's upsetting, it's all of these things. The patient has to undergo yet another surgery, sometimes even more than one. Now, the key to these dyes is finding a marker that's unique to the cancer cells so that just the malignant cells light up. And those markers are going to be different for different cancers. Now, the dyes are still in clinical trials, but several will likely be approved soon for general use. You don't want to take out any, you want to take out as much as you can of the cancer. You don't want to leave taking too much out. You want to sure. leave that normal tissue around. It's very, very helpful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks, Dr. Max. You bet.